How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video here. We're going to be reviewing this tool. I've had this tool for quite a few years and I thought since I was doing the go-kart build and there might be a couple bolts that I can't find or uh, don't have on hand and I need to use the old one, I'm going to show you here how to re-thread the bolt, not thread it. Now this is not, this is not a tap and die set. This is just to clean the threads out and renew the thread, the old threads. Um, as you can see here, we have a bolt. Uh, this bolt right here was out of the go-kart. Uh, now, I think I have all these pretty much new now, but I did want to use this uh, kit to show you how this works. And you guys are out there working on go-karts and mini bikes and uh, four-wheelers and lawnmowers and cars and stuff, and you need to renew a thread. Uh, just to put some new threads, say you had a big dent or something in the thread and you want to re uh, go over that, you know, you, this thing here does a pretty good job at doing it. So I thought this would be a good chance for me to do a video on this kit uh, so you guys can understand it, it, how it works and what this kit does. Uh, this is a Craftsman set. Uh, you can pick it up. I think right around I think uh, I've had it for many years it's pretty old uh, I would say I probably paid around 50 60 bucks for it uh, and it comes with you have metric uh, standard fine thread and then uh, standard coarse thread so um, all right you have a couple uh, thread files in here and uh, you could use these to clean a thread. Say you had a big nick or something in it, you could use this. What you'd have to do is find out how many threads per inch this is, and then you come to this one here and you, you get the threads per inch, and then you could foul these threads out. Uh, if there be something there you need to get rid of, you could use this tool to foul them out. And uh, it does come with some handles. You just take the little handle and slide it on the end of this. That way it don't scuff up your hand, tear up your hands. Uh, so it's a good little tool. Has two little handles with it. Put this one on too so you can see what they look like. And uh, one metric, one standard. Um, then you got a thread gauge in here. And this is how you tell how many threads per inch you have on your bolt. So you can pick out the right Ta or the right cleaner, whatever one you need, either a nut cleaner or a bolt cleaner or a nut cleaner. So I've used this thing a lot. Uh, it saved me many, many dollars on bolts. And a lot of times we would be working on motorcycles, and that was my biggest thing when I was younger. Uh, we rode a lot of motorcycles and we worked on a lot of motorcycles. And this thing come in real handy uh, to put them new threads say like you were putting a side cover on a motorcycle you know and and you needed a uh to clean out some threads because you know it's boogered up a little bit this thing works out great so let me show you how this thing works all right the first thing you want to do is take your thread gauge find the right threads and what you want to do is you don't really want to see you want that to fit perfectly down inside there and not really see anything through there. As you can see, if I lift it up, you can see the red down there, put it down, and that's a perfect fit for that. So that's a 16 threads per inch. That 16 on there, I don't know if you guys could even see that. It's 16 threads per inch. So now, I know this is a 3 8 bolt, so we got 16, uh, 3 8 16 threads per inch. So what you do is you come over here, and this is a 3 8 This will be your coarse thread, and you want it to screw right on here. And then what I would do normally is put this in a vise. So I'll show you how that's done there. So you're going to bring your... Um, bolt over here and stick it in the device like so and then uh, this takes a 9 16 wrench and what you're going to do this is a 14 but it's the same as 9 16 what you're going to do is you're just going to screw this thing all the way down on there all right I want you to have a better view of these threads down here because these are not too bad on the top it's the ones on the bottom that you need to clean right here so what we're going to do is we're just going to Go ahead and just keep turning this thing down on here. Now you could use a little bit of oil in this process if you'd like. 
or not. You can actually see the stuff falling out of there. Let me see. There's, there's, see the stuff on my finger right here. You can see it right there on my finger. See it right there? So, all you gotta do is twist it down on until it comes to a stop. You don't want to force it. Once it stops, back it off. And you'll see the nice threads in there. Roll that thing right back off. And this is the same as a nut. So you can see you can actually turn it by fingers now. You could do this a couple times. You could run it down on and run it off. A couple, look at that. I'm just twisting that right down on with my fingers. And that is exactly the same way your nut would go down on there. So now we have a pretty nice looking bolt to reuse with good threads in it. So then I would take it over to the wire brush and clean it up. Now this part here, you might need some eye protection and you maybe need a pair of gloves. It depends on how hard your hands are. So now I'm just going to take the bolt and I'm going to clean it up on the wire brush. Okay, now if you was to compare these two bolts, this is what we started with, and this is what we ended up with. That's a big difference. And there wouldn't be any reason why I couldn't reuse this bolt. This bolt is perfectly fine. One thing you may want to look at the tip or the head of it, make sure it's not stripped. If this here uh, top here gets stripped, you may want to discard it. But there's nothing wrong with that bolt. It looks just like brand new. From old to new. Cool. Which saves you money. I know you can buy these by the pound, but it's still saving you money if you don't have to buy them. So that's basically how it works. And uh, the foul, uh, we know it's 16 threads per inch. Back you guys off a little bit. Uh, so you'd come through here and you find 16. Right here, you got 16. And then if you had a big burr you need to get off of there, you could use this to foul it off. It's uh, just a thread foul. And they work well too. And uh, this, your, your nut, if, these, if you're going to thread a bolt, you need to use the nuts. If you're going to thread a nut, you're going to need the, uh, these pieces here. So, and uh, I may have some bolts I might end up restoring for the go-kart uh, but you can see I'll show you how much garbage comes out of just this one here pull it out of there and mainly in these cracks right here right in there is where you're gonna see the dirt that comes out it's not much in there but there is some you can see it right there Oh, uh, just out of that nut there. So, good little set. Uh, definitely would save you money. Now, if you could take an old one like this, an old bolt like this, and turn it into a nice bolt like that, uh, I don't see any reason why you couldn't reuse it. I mean, that's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine for me, anyhow. 
now let's talk just a little bit more about this file because um, I know I said if you had a burr uh, on here if it was something big you could always use this file on it instead of running the nut down on there but if you get a piece and you don't have a grinder let's say you don't have a grinder and the edge of this tip just the tip of this is screwed up you could always stick that thing in your vise you could stick this in your vise right where that nick is wherever your nick is find your 16 threads per inch and you want to kind of seat them down in there before the nick and then you could foul that nick out you could take it and just foul your nick out so you can get that uh, re-threading nut on there uh, so you just foul that out actually you can see it cut in there you can see stuff falling so but you could foul that out and then just get it enough to where you could get the nut started on there once your nut started on there I'm sure you're good for the rest of the way um, I actually seen a commercial on somebody's video where they had a tool that would fit down on the tip of this on a, and you put it in a drill put it down on here and it would round that edge off if this got damaged it would round that off so you could start your nut that is a good tool and I will have one not too long I will find one and I'm gonna buy one but because I'm always using old bolts uh, old nuts uh, just depends on you know if I can find them if I don't have them on hand and I got an old one somewhere a new if I don't have a new one I have an old one I'll clean it up and make it look new they don't bother me any well as you guys can see this thing works great this is a definitely a handy tool for anybody's shop that's working on any kind of mechanical uh, device uh, this thing if it's got threads it, it works good uh, so uh, take your old bolts turn them to new uh, and don't cost you a dime a little bit of time that's it I hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe leave me a thumbs up thumbs down or a comment if you'd like till next time